What's up? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, of course, it's a brand new day. It's Sunday. Uh, it's currently 12.33. Um, we're going to be chilling for a bit. Um, me and the family, we finna go to the shooting range and mess around with some guns down there. So, uh, the plan is once we're at the range, I'll continue recording, see if I could get some of my mom's reaction or whatever, you know, and see how that goes. But yeah. What's up, y'all? So, um, I'm at the shop right now, as you can see. Um, yesterday was a pretty lit day. I'm eating a muffin. I'm at work right now. Soon as a car comes in, I record that and I do it. Working on a 2015 Kia Soul, uh, rear brake pads, uh, brake pads and rotors. So today I'll be teaching y'all how to do that. And for you, Hanson, I'm gonna teach you correctly how to do this shit. And uh, yeah, um, let's get started. First and foremost, remove tires. Simple. All right, guys. So first thing you wanna do is remove these. That's a 14 and the other one. Right there, 14, I'm 14. Remove those first. After you remove those, grab your caliper, shake it, done. Now it's off. Now you're gonna leave the pads in there and then remove the other bolts, I'll show you. On the inside studs, you're gonna wanna take this one off and bottom one off. All right, so once both brakes, or both of those bolts are out, literally take it off. Now you're left with your rotor. I'll show you how to do this. Grab your impact screwdriver, stuck it right in there. Make sure you grab a hammer. This is gonna move, so you don't, you're gonna want it to stay still, then you're gonna twist it like that in the rotation, I mean, in the direction you want to remove it. After that, you take your hammer, you make sure you're twisting it counterclockwise while tapping, well, not tapping, but you know, hammering it right here and it will just open up the screw. So I'm gonna keep 100 with y'all. I forgot to record that one part right after the impact screwdriver. So basically right after that, what you want to do is you're going to take your lug nut. You're going to screw it onto the stud. Not all the way, just that it's grabbing like a couple of teeth. Then after that, you're going to take your hammer and you're going to hit your rotor. Because that rotor is done, you know, it's done. And throw that rotor away. It's all scratched uh, metal to metal, you know, throw it away. It's done with. Um... So yeah, you just take the hammer. Once that lug nut is on the stud, you take the hammer and you just pound at the fucking rotor. Like, 
you know, just fucking smash it in with the hammer, bro. And um, it should just fall off. Like, not fall off, but it should just, like, break loose, you know? Because it depends on some cars. The longer the brake's been on there, the harder it's going to be on there, you know? So just do that. Take a hammer, pound it, and it'd be done. This specific tool, I mean, on this specific car, you want a special tool. You want something like this or something with at least like these holes right here or these little dots or bumps. Uh, reason for that is these type of calipers, don't know if you can see that well, but these type of calipers have those right there. You're gonna want these two dots on that tool right there to line up exactly with those. After everything is removed, this is on the other side. And this is the side that I started off with. Um, now that that's done, literally what you want to do, you want to take some PB Blaster, you spray just a little bit right there. And I went on, on the other side too. So you go to the other side, and spray a little bit in here. <laughs> spray a little bit, and then yeah. That's done. You'll be left with that. You're gonna want it, the two holes to be straight, like right here. They gotta line up. Um, because here's some front ones that they mistaken this for. But pads have these little things right there. Those little lines right there, those two little, little bumps, you know. Those get in the way. And if these aren't straight like that, you're not gonna get your brakes on. You're gonna be there all day, all night, trying to figure out why your caliper doesn't wanna go on. So don't do that mistake. Make sure those two holes are flush, running straight. All right in the middle, it doesn't have to be perfect, as you can see, just as long as it's in the middle. But other than that, you're done. Uh, wait, I'll wait for the parts to come. Once the parts are here, I'll go ahead and finish up the job when you buy your rotors let me go ahead and show you go ahead and move everything out the way you buy your rotors you're gonna get your cutting tool all right but yeah when you get your rotors always always please clean them with brake cleaner there's oils on here that will fuck it, or like fuck everything up. So don't do that. Clean them with brake cleaner, please. Once you have the rotor, I'm gonna see if I can explain it better. These little dimple holes right here, both sides, need to line up with these right here. So what you want to do, looking at it, holes on the left. So you want the hole on the left. You're going to take these bolts, these little dimple ones or whatever they're called, you're going to screw them in. Right? You screw them in. You grab the other one, screw them in. I got gloves on now because my hands were dirty. I ain't... I, I didn't want to clean my hands again, so I, I cleaned my hands and I just threw my gloves on. Just, I'm not going to get my hands dirty again, but yeah, you screw it on. And then uh, you're going to take the hammer and you're just going to give it light taps. So be right back. Okay, so literally grab it and then you're going to want that, take that rubber bushing off of it if I can. I don't know if I could do this with one hand or not. Oh, there goes one of my pads. Yeah, this man was driving on metal. But yeah, you're gonna just try to pop that off. Ugh. Right, I'm gonna pause real quick. Once you get it off, you're gonna wanna spray a little bit of brake cleaner on it to get it clean, you know? So, good enough. Then you pick up the rag and then you just clean it.
See? Brand new. Once you do that, you'll grab your, your lube, your grease, put just a dab on there, and then put it back in from where it came out of. And then, you know, twist it while pushing in. Now once it's down there, done. Just like that. And you're gonna do the same one to the bottom. The uh, same thing to the bottom one. Before, after. Now that your caliper is on, bolts tightened and everything, you're gonna check your pins real quick. Make sure everything good. See, that's good. That's good for me. All right, um, now you don't have to do this, but I usually do this. I usually just grab one of the studs and give it a nice little spin. Make sure that it's not, you know, scraping up against anything. Uh, I wanna give it back to the customer without having to worry about, you know, gotta drive it back in later, you know? But yeah, once that's on and everything, you're gonna get your pads on. I'll show you guys how to do that. All right, so with your pads, Usually at our shop, we change them out for ceramics because the ceramics, they last way longer than normal ones do. So let me pop it open and show you what I'm talking about. You're gonna grab your pad. So it's gonna be sitting like this. So you're gonna wanna get the, the one with the noise, the little noise warning. I forgot what these are called, but yeah. You're gonna wanna get that. When you put it in, you wanna make sure it's sitting at the top like this. Now, let me show you guys something. This is the braking material. This is always gonna go up against the rotor. This is gonna be facing outside because these are all metal. These are just the backing plates. You don't wanna put these like that because if you install it like this, you're dead. You're done. <laughs> you're done. Pack up your stuff, you're done, you know? Um, so like I said, braking material, backing plate. Just like that. Then we'll do the same with the rears. I mean, the ones on the back. Done, perfect. And then grab your caliper, throw it on, and then you're done. That's one side. That side is done. Amazing. That's the only noise you want to hear. That's the only noise you want to hear. Why? Because that is because <laughs> that is from your pads. Uh, holding it tight right here. That's the only reason why it makes that noise. You literally can't hear that when you're driving outside. But now that that's done, go on this side. Right, y'all um currently test driving it car feels really good like amazing dude i haven't drove stick since last week this shit crazy <laughs> but no that ass is really good all right guys um literally that's it for the video um I hope you guys really enjoyed that. Um, it was a more in detail, in depth, um, like, you know, video, little how to video to help you guys out, learn how to do breaks at home, you know, just something like, you know, something easy for you guys to do. Cause I know last video, like a couple videos back, um, I did breaks, but I literally skipped a lot of steps and, uh, you know, and I had my cousin come up and him tell me a couple shits. So I was, you know, I was like, okay. 
let's make another video help some more people out just in case like they didn't understand how to properly do it you know but i hope you guys really enjoyed that video uh please don't forget to leave a like um support your boy you know like i'm just making youtube videos <laughs> but uh you know, hit the subscribe down below. Turn on the little bell notifications or whatever. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll catch you guys in the next episode. <laughs> yeah.